Okay, so um, it's been about an hour here at my house and um, you can see that my dough has obviously puffed up, doubled in size. If I poke a finger into it, it is very, 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 very soft and the dough doesn't spring back up immediately, which is great. Um, so what we're gonna do now is shape the dough and then it's gonna need to proof a second time and then we'll be ready to bake it. So first I'm gonna just turn my dough out onto the countertop. You don't wanna do a whole lot of deflating here because it's just gonna take it longer to proof the second time, but um, you might have to do a little bit. So I'm gonna kinda of just loosely shape it into a log shape so that I can divide it into thirds. If we were gonna sell this bread as is, as a whole loaf, we would wanna measure um, with a scale to make sure all of our pieces are exactly perfect. We use this in the cafe for the French toast, so it's okay if it's not perfect, perfect, because we're gonna slice it up. Um, so once you've got three pretty equal pieces, challah traditionally is a braided bread and it can be really, really beautiful and decorative. Um, I'm just gonna roll my three pieces into ropes. They don't need to be super long and it's okay if they have some kind of imperfections in them. So they need to be slightly longer than my bread pan. That's pretty good, almost, almost two times as long, I would say. And I'm gonna try to get all my ropes about the same length. Again, I'm trying to handle my dough kind of as little as possible. If your dough is really sticky at this point, you can put a little flour on the table. I try not to use it because it kind of keeps the, the dough from sticking together in the next step. So if you've never braided before, you might want to just watch a YouTube video on how to braid literally anything, hair, yarn, whatever. You can practice with whatever you want. Um, if you've braided hair before, this is exactly the same thing, just with dough. So we're gonna take the ends over here. We're gonna squish them together really good so that they all come together. And then um, all braiding is, is you take the outside piece and overlap the middle, the middle becomes the outside. So I'm gonna take this left hand piece I'm gonna make it into the middle, middle becomes the outside. And then I'm gonna take the right hand piece and so on and so forth until I have a nice braid. So um, traditionally holla can just be put on a baking sheet and baked like this. We bake it in a loaf pan just so that all of ours is a little bit more uniform. Um, but as you can see, my braid is longer than my pan. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and spray my pan with some pan spray again. Please don't forget this or else it might not come out. And you don't need a ton, just enough to coat. And then I'm gonna take my braid and I'm just gonna kind of roll the ends under and kind of squish the sides. I'm looking to get a nice even braid. If I have something where it's got a bunch of volume over here and not a lot of volume over here, my bread's gonna proof like that, and I don't want that. So I'm just trying to kind of squunch it together, technical term there, squunch, so that it's about the right size for my pan, but also it's fairly even. Um, it's okay if it's not 100% even, I'll show you why in just a sec. So then I'm just gonna lay it in my pan here, and it should come about two thirds of the way up to the side of your pan. So I do have kind of a low spot right here as compared to here and here. So I'm just gonna take the top of my hand and kind of press the whole thing down to where it's even. I know it's not as pretty as it was a second ago, but it'll proof back up better um, and more even, and it'll be easier for the morning practicum kids to slice. So just kind of even it out all the way around. And then I'm going to give it one more quick spray on the top. Just lightly to keep it from drying out. I'm gonna cover it in plastic wrap again. This time I'm gonna cover it really loosely because when the bread rises, it's gonna come over the top of the pan. And if I have this all the way down, it's gonna have nowhere to go. So I'm just gonna kind of loosely drape this over the top um, so that as it rises up over the top of the pan, it can take the plastic with it instead of um, getting trapped. So then I'm gonna put it back in the proofer. This second proofing usually takes a lot less time because your whole dough is already really nice and warm. Um, so just keep an eye on it. You want it, I'll show you what the finished product should look like, but you want it to be domed over the top of the pan, but it shouldn't be so big that it's 
hanging out of the side of the pan, okay? So I'm gonna put this back in my warm oven. You would put it again back in the proofer. Make sure you label this plastic wrap. It should say Hala, your name, and what time, second proof, and what time you put it back in the proofer, okay? Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and then I'll be back with a third video in just a little bit.